Okay, everybody, good morning. I would like to firstly apologize for the insanely poor quality of this video. A lot of you um, are asking for, um, can I do more sort of emergency lighting, fire alarms, that sort of stuff. Um, I've got a quote in this place here to put emergency lighting and a fire alarm system in, basically. Um, so it's a very, it's a simple enough job, but it's, it's got a few issues which I'll show you. Um, I haven't actually got my wireless mics or anything, um, so when I turn the camera around my audio might go down, for which I apologise about. <laughs> okay, so the fuse board is just up here, right? Sorry about the flicker, alright? Fuse board's just up here, okay? Um, that, actually I don't know what's in there. What's this one? Uh, that's the meters, okay. Nothing to see in there. So like I said, they want, fi uh, they want a full fire alarm system and emergency lighting as well on all the floors. So I'll just, I'll walk you through floor by floor, you can have a look at it and then just leave below what you think, how long it would take and your price to do it, okay? So up here, this is the entrance here, so we've just got a normal light there. These are just activated by push buttons at the moment, the new old style pneumatic time switches. So we need to put, obviously we've got to put a normal light fitting. I mean, maybe it'd be easier. They haven't specified they want to keep these, so we might just be able to take them down and just put drum lights with the emergency light with the battery backup built into it, so it activates. It works like a normal light, but you've also got the battery backup in it. Personally, I think that's going to be the easiest way forward. So we'll need one there, and you might as well probably put one here as well. Smoke detection, you'll need a smoke detector over here. We'll need another one over here because we've got this drop here separating these two areas. Okay, so I'm not sure what, these don't look particularly easy. They're not hollow is what I'm saying basically. So it might be a quick question that we can just put trunking, neatly put trunking, do the whole system in trunking perhaps. Um, going upstairs, wooden staircase obviously. <sighs> Let me just turn this light on. Um, we've got floorboards all the way up. We have got floorboards here which can come up. So in this corner, maybe that light fitting can just come down and we just put another drum light there perhaps, or put one at the end there and then one here, maybe. And just another smoke detector somewhere here. So this one here was the first floor, so this is now going up to the, that's actually the top flat just there, all right. But, We've got to put a light fitting just up there somewhere. Either up there, I think that would probably make the most sense. So I could even put it there. No, I think up there is going to look a bit neater. Yeah, so we can either put a light fitting up there or we just replace that one. This is solid, but that there is a stud wall. So again, we'll need a light fitting with an emergency light built into it and a smoke detector up there. Um, and that's about it. So that's the top floor. This is the first floor here. So we just need Maybe two bulkheads here I think would look quite look a bit better, or one bright one and then maybe, I don't know, up to you. Maybe one there, one there perhaps, I don't know, up to you. But we need smoke detection up here, um, there's a push button there, you could put it on sensors here if you wanted to, it's up to you. And then what sort of fire alarm system you want to install, that's completely up to you. Um, I was probably going to fit something like, I fitted a Twinflex Pro on one of the last jobs I did, and that, that worked out quite well. It was a nice system. Now, it is worth noting, obviously, because this is a fire alarm system that we've got to put in, um, we have got to put a detector inside each flat. So we've got, actually, there's four flats here. There's one just outside. Um, well, it's literally underneath where I'm standing now. So there's four flats. You've got to put smoke detection in also. So you've got the hallways, but you've also got to put a smoke detector inside each flat. Um, so it's something <clears throat> just worth noting. So there you go, that's it. It's just a, a quick little quote. Uh, this is all we've got to do. So just leave below what sort of system you think you would fit, um, how, many, how many people you think it would take, how long it would take, your price to do it. And it's just interesting. Uh, I think it helps the community if you can you know, be honest and just sort of share your figures, you know. Yeah, there's not a lot more to see here, so just leave your figures below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.